Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Wedding Connections. My name is Nina Paris from DanceToday.fun, and today we have the lovely Caitlin Erho from Westwood Plateau Golf and Country Club. This is a wonderful wedding venue that if you're interested, we're going to give you some inside info on why this venue is amazing and unique. Welcome, Caitlin. Tell us a little bit about what you do for Westwood Plateau and what we can expect from booking our, our weddings there. Yeah. So I've been working at Westwood for about two years now, um, and I help with all the planning. I know there's lots of work that goes into that. So we work together with the couples. Plan your special day, basically, from the very beginning to the very end. Uh, we'll be here for you, as well as helping you through any issues that may arise, or be there to suggest lots of things to help out with the planning process. So can you tell me of one of your favorite weddings that happened at Westwood Plateau and why that was your favorite? For sure. It actually happened downstairs in our gallery room. It was one of the first weddings that I personally worked. It was a young couple. They were pretty similar in age to me, so I think that's why I connect to them. But they were very big gamers. Okay. So... The way that they determined how to send up their tables to the buffet, they had board games during their cocktail hour, and whoever won that, whoever, what table they were sitting at, that was how they got to go up to their buffet, as well as at the very end of the night, kind of when the dancing was happening and stuff like that, they hooked up their Nintendo Switch to our AV system um, and had that playing on the projector, so they were playing Super Smash Bros., Oh, that is so cute. I love how every wedding can be so different. It really is as unique as the couples. And tell me about all of the different spaces that Westwood Plateau can host a wedding. So you said there's a gallery downstairs. Yeah, so we do have three banquet spaces, which is really nice. So starting with the studio room, which is actually just behind me through those doors. So that is one of our, like I said, smaller spaces. So it can hold up to 50 guests. Those we normally use for birthday parties, celebrations of life, baby showers, things like that. And then the gallery room is located downstairs, and that one can hold up to 130 guests, which is really awesome. A medium-sized wedding. And then up here in the panorama room where I am right now is our biggest banquet space, and it can hold up to 250 guests. So we wow. got you covered basically from everything. Yeah. And, you know, looking at the website, I saw lots of beautiful pictures, high ceilings, lots of light and, and windows. And I was kind of struck by that it was not all summer weddings. There were some winter weddings. Can you tell me a little bit about how you guys accommodate the different seasons? And, mm -hmm. and if a person wants to have a wedding in the winter and it's snowing, are, do you let them go outside? And, and mm -hmm. how does that work? Of course, yeah. We're really blessed with our location. We're in the mountains, so it's quite nice. It's very like Whistler Chateau-esque without having to make the drive all the way to Whistler. For those winter weddings, because we do get quite a bit of snow up here, the studio room is actually where we hold some of our ceremonies. So for ceremonies, we've had up to 125 people in there, which is really nice. And if you do have more people than that, uh, we can also have ceremonies in the gallery space, which is really nice. We did have a couple get married a couple years ago in the gallery, and they had their ceremony there. And we turned the fireplace on for them, and it was just so warm and cozy, which is really right. nice and that one can hold and so did they have their pictures uh, at the location or did they go somewhere else for pictures like is, is your venue does it have lots of locations for pictures and things like it that it does yeah so we have many indoor locations so we have our staircase which is really nice my favorite spot for an indoor place is also just on that bridge there where guests do like first looks i've had a lot of my couples do their first look there and it's just so intimate but you can still get the, all the pictures that you want and stuff. And as for outside, especially in winter, if you wanted to brave the snow, we do have quite a few spots that we can go. So we have our garden space, which is really lovely. Is my, my favorite spot is the helicopter pad that we have. So it offers 360 degree views, uh, but it's only one location. So every picture you take at a different angle, it actually looks like a different backdrop, which is really nice because it's less walking, more pictures, everybody's happy. Wow, that sounds wonderful. I want you to tell me a little bit about a, a wedding where you guys went above and beyond or it was very different than what normally you would think of a wedding. And I know, you know, through COVID, there was a lot of restrictions and, and I've heard a lot of, I read a lot of your testimonials where you guys were very, very flexible. And they said that the couple said that it was very different than other venues who were not flexible and they had a lot of rules and you guys you know, were very accommodating. Can you tell me a story of a wedding where you actually had to 
do something that was above and beyond or that was a little bit different than what normally wedding venues do? Of course, yeah. So actually our wedding today is one of those. So uh, the bride and groom are actually from the UK. So they were doing all their planning from across the seas, which I know is very difficult, especially with the time difference. Um, so um, they had a three day window where they were able to tour venues and everything like that. And we were their last one. And she also said that we were the one she was looking forward to the most. That's why she put us as the last one. And she wanted to do everything here. So the ceremony and reception, which was awesome. So when they toured back in January, I believe. We took him out to the garden space and she didn't instantly fall in love with it. And that really upset her because she spent all this time hyping it up in her head and she's it's her last day. She doesn't have time to go look at another venue. So we talked about it a little bit and then I actually took her out to Holt Eck, which is right behind our helicopter pad. And that's, you know, where we do staff parties and just, it's a, it's a forgotten hole, basically. Mm -hmm. I used to be a driving range. Uh, so I took her out there and she fell in love. It's very wooded over there, um, lots of trees, much more the vibe that she was going for. Like very, she said in her words, very Narnia-esque, oh. which was really nice. So yeah, today's her wedding day and we're having her ceremony out on Whole X. We're actually setting it up right now, which is really exciting. Um, and then she's getting married downstairs in the gallery room. So I know she was definitely very grateful that we were able to figure something out for her. Um, and her That's husband. Great. It's so wonderful. So you guys, you know, you're kind of like a global uh, company and full service. And so what does that include? I, I know that people sometimes don't understand that there is not only the wedding planner that helps you guys plan the wedding, but mm -hmm. sometimes you need a what day of wedding coordinator and you need an efficient and you need this and that. What do you guys provide as the full package? Mm -hmm. Right. So from, like you said, the very beginning, we obviously provide all the um, planning and things like that. We'll work together with the couple to help that out. And then we also provide the day of wedding coordinator. They basically arrive right before uh, the couple gets here and they'll be here throughout the entire day to help with anything. And then we all have all of your service staff. So all of our fun, you know, supervisors, servers, bartenders, everything like that. Also everybody who sets up for your event, which is really exciting. The actual setup of the room uh, takedown as well. We take care of everything decor related and everything like that, which is really nice. And then we also take care of the floor plans, things like that, everything included in the planning process. Nice. And it, and it seems that you guys do cater to whatever the couple wants, like gaming. If they want game boards, you're like, okay, we'll provide whatever you need there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes weddings unique. Every time I help couples with their first dance, you know, they might have a song or they might not, but they creating their unique wedding dance is what makes it different. I mean, you can dance a certain way, but um, making it their own and, and special. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think you guys do the same thing. So, um, you guys are also at the All Dressed in White wedding show. And <laughs> so if couples have any questions and you want to meet the staff, like who usually goes to these wedding venues that they can have a chance to meet? Yeah, so it's actually, I've been to one of those wedding shows. It's mainly the four girls in our department. So we have myself, Caitlin, Danielle, who's our director, Marley, and Stephanie. They're wonderful wonderful people yeah at the wedding shows we can book you in for a tour right there which is really nice so we have lots of pictures to show you as well and we can do on a, almost everything we can here in the office at the wedding show nice and so, so do you have any memories of like any weddings where they totally transform the space one, uh, we do have a decor package we have a ceremony and a reception package as well as a personal flowers package which is really nice so depending on what you want to do you can either get all three or pick and choose but one time that i do remember the space being completely transformed it was actually in this room it was for a persian wedding so they brought in all their own draping and things like that they had it all lined up against this wall and it looked like the inside of a circus tent is what she was going for with beautiful blues and purples and gold so she draped the entire all the beams and everything like that which is another plus because you don't have to use staples, screws, nails, or anything like that. You can just hang things over nicely. So she completely transformed this space. And she also wrapped the dance floor. So it had a custom monogram uh, with her husband, which was really interesting. That's amazing. So it seems that you guys can take care of small to really large scale weddings and you can you allow your guests to transform the space into whatever they need. And I, I feel like Westwood Plateau has a lot of unique features because 
did you tell me that there used to be a racetrack? Yes, yeah, it actually used to be a racetrack um, before it was built. So I think it closed in 1990 and then they started building it. And then Westwood opened in 1995. And now it even has a helipad, right? So exactly, it's, yeah. Lots of spaces that could be unique for photos and the architecture is unique and the exposed beams and the high ceilings. So I feel like any couple, if you're interested in this venue, you wanna book a tour right away and the website, we'll put it down here. And Caitlin, what is your role? What's your title? Uh, so I am an events and restaurant coordinator. Okay, um, great. And Mary Lee, she's the director for all the weddings. Mm -hmm. No, so Danielle is the director, sorry. Danielle is the director. And so Danielle would be a, the person they talk to for a consultation, I guess? Yeah. yeah. Great. So um, I would really encourage you guys to book an appointment, do a tour, and actually see all the spaces. But you can also meet them at the All Dressed in White wedding fair that's coming up soon at any of the the dates that are marked. And come check them out. Come meet the vendors. Come meet uh, Caitlin or whoever is there from Westwood Plateau and see, you can probably see from, from start to finish the different weddings. Their website is a great resource to also have a look at weddings that happen in the fall, in the summer, in the winter. I was really impressed by that because, you know, you guys are a full service all year round venue and you can have amazing pictures and views from where you're up, up there in the mountains. So thank you so much, Caitlin, for sharing all your wonderful information. And is there anything else you want to share with us? Not really. I hope to see everybody at the All Dressed in White shows. I'm excited. Awesome. And so book this new venue and have a look and take a tour and we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye.